What's going on, Sea Wolves? You're watching USG Hot Takes, the hottest show on campus, literally. And today we are joined by our guest, Dr. Samuel L. Stanley, the president of Stony Brook University. Dr. Stanley, thank you for being with us today. It's my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Um, so be honest with me. How are you usually with hot foods? You know, I, I'd say I'm probably on the more sensitive side of the spectrum. Um, you know, when I get my salsa, you know, I probably prefer <laughs> mild, maybe medium if I'm feeling adventurous, but I would always stay away from hot. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll see how this goes today. So this is a big jump today. Major, it sounds All right. like. Major. All right. So um, quick question before we start. Um, your wife, Ellen, um, she's a gastroenterologist. Did she yeah. happen to give you any tips on how to handle these hot foods? No, not really. Um, I think, you know, she tends to deal with people who've had lots of complications with mm -hmm. their stomachs over the years, and, you know, that hasn't been one of my problems. Um, but I think, you know, I did do some reading up, and, okay. I, you know, I'm very glad you guys <laughs> provide milk because I understand that's going to help me, right? Yes. In terms of dealing with some yes. of the major it'll, ingredients. It'll coat the um, stomachs. Exactly. Coat the stomachs, and I think actually it turns out that capacin, which is the um, thing that gives this pain essentially associated with mm -hmm. hot sauce and, and stimulates pain uh, neurons, um, it actually dissolves better in milk than it does in water. So, okay. so milk is a colloid that helps it dissolve. So by dissolving it, you inactivate it. So in theory, this should help inactivate it and keep it from staying around. Water, on the other hand, will actually spread it around the mouth. So this okay. is a very good suggestion. I'm glad you guys made it. That's very interesting, an in-depth um, look on how the, the sauce applies. Absolutely, science, <laughs> science. Thank you for this. Yeah, science no, is an welcome. amazing thing. You're welcome. We're going to get right into it, and we're going to cheers and clink okay, wings here. Cheers, Take yeah. one bite. Okay. So we're going to jump right into it. We wanted to take this opportunity to involve students in this interview. Yeah. Um, so we have a student question, and this is from sophomore Alice Mo. Her major is biology, and she asked, um, what life goals did you have when, when you were 18? Thank you, Alice, for that question. That involves me going back a long time and <laughs> thinking about what I was like right. as an 18 year old. I think I knew I wanted to do something that would help others. Um, I, I really, from the beginning, um, was interested in a profession that would allow me to be of service. I thought two professions kind of met that goal for me. One was medicine, the other was law. So I think when I was an 18 year old, I didn't know yet what I would have the most aptitude for, but I knew I wanted to do something that involved giving back to people. Awesome, so there's your answer, Alice. Thank you for asking your question on Facebook. But we're gonna move on to the second sauce here, and this one's called High River Sauces Rogue. It's a Maruga blood orange scorpion pepper sauce. So, um, that's so it really a, has scorpion in it? Uh, I don't know. I don't wow. know. Maybe okay. that's where the hot okay. comes in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know that you had went to um, school in Chicago, correct? Mm, University um, of Chicago, Okay. Yes. That's for undergrad, right? Yes. So having lived in both Chicago and the New York area, um, both have their differences, particularly in food. Um, do you prefer deep dish Chicago style pizza or New York style pizza and why? So that's a dangerous question, obviously. Yes. Um, so yes. Um, I think a really good deep dish still holds a lot of appeal to me. But now that I've moved to New York, um, I no longer seek out deep dish and I go with the, you know, the classic New York slice. Yeah. I'm impressed that you can get slices for two bucks. New York is amazing, right? Because you can find the most expensive meals in the world and you can find the least expensive meals <laughs> exactly. in, the world in the same city. Um, so I really love pizza, so I, I'd be hard pressed to pick between the two. But I would say really since I've been in New York, I've really pretty much essentially focused uh, on uh, New York style pizza. Um, so the Stony Brook area um, in itself is kind of known for its scenery. Do you have a favorite place to go and like unwind? Like what are your hobbies that you do in your free time? So. You know, I do a lot of different things in mm -hmm. my free time, and you know, there are responsibilities obviously for the university often for me right. on the weekend. So you, you may see me to be at a you know basketball mm -hmm. game. The thing I like to do is play tennis. Um, okay. I play a couple times a week, and then I'm kind of a, a workout addict too. So okay. I, I work out. I've thought about doing the rec center. I, you know, I, I you know thought about doing that sometimes mm -hmm. too, but. Um, I don't know if it would be a distraction or so on. I'd it love gets to get a little packed input. in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I like having some, you know, opportunity to get mm -hmm. to the machine I want to get when yeah. I need it. So right. that's important to me. So, um, you know, I have a big family, so I have four kids, mm -hmm. and they're all in different places. Two of them live in St. Louis, but all the other ones are in different places. And so, uh, you know, sometimes I'll take a weekend and fly out and visit them 
That's awesome. Seems yeah. like you're a very busy guy. Yeah, good, <laughs> but you know, it says everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, you ready to move on to the third sauce here? Yeah. So this third sauce here is called Pain 100%. Okay. Um, and we're just gonna go right into it. Okay. <clears throat> Clink wings here and yep. cheers. Okay. This one, you might want some milk before it goes down. Well, this is a delayed. Yeah, this is it, a delayed it, catches, impact. it catches up to you yeah, very much so. Impact, yeah. So, you've been a strong proponent of diversity on this campus. Um, what advice would you give to students to be civically responsible? Well, this is a delayed. Yeah, this is it, a it, catches, it catches up to you yeah, very much so. Impact, yeah. mm -hmm. Let me drink a little more milk and then I'll, I'll do All right. It. Well, I think one of the most important things, obviously, is voting. And I've been really impressed by how much progress we've made in that, both at the local, regional, and state and national levels. That's something we know that college helps with. We know, thank you, of course. that college-educated um, individuals are much more likely to vote. I think the number one thing for civic engagement is to vote. Get engaged and vote, because that's really how you can affect change, is by voting. Right. And this is still pretty hot. This is gonna be a music question. Uh, music of all genres is very yeah. popular among yeah. college students. Um, do you have a favorite artist or genre that you listen to or have listened to? I really listen to all different kinds of music. So I okay. have, at home, I have 16, 1700 CDs. I think I've transferred them over to Apple Music now, so I have them that I can stream. Mm -hmm. But that varies from classical to jazz to pop um, to K-pop. Um, really? I listen to K-pop, yeah, okay. I enjoy K-pop. Um, that's what I work out to generally is K-pop music. Really? Um, yeah, so okay. BTS, um, I don't know if you know any yeah, K-pop groups. Yeah, they're like they the, uh, the yeah. top, um, like they're like the, the Beatles of, yeah. of Korea, You're right. honestly. Exactly, and, and older school like, um, you know, Girls' Generation and, and stuff like that. So, okay. So I listen to that, um, and I like, you know, some of the contemporary artists that are out there now as well. So. Um, Probably one of the best concerts I was ever at was at Stony Brook when Bruno Mars and uh, okay. uh, came. I mean, that was an incredible, with Janelle Monae and others. That was she's, an incredible concert. She's, she's outstanding. She's, she's such outstanding. a performer. I mean, you see yeah. her perform at the Grammys. Yeah, and, no, she's um, great. You know, if, dating myself, you know, Steely Dan, okay. you know, groups like that, mm -hmm. you know, groups from the 70s, mm -hmm. you know, 60s, uh, I still know. So uh, it's, a, it's a wide group of, of interests. So you're a very well-rounded music listener. Very well-rounded music okay. listener. Okay, I like that a lot. A whole lot of genres. Awesome. Um, so we're gonna get right to the fourth sauce, and this one's called the bomb. One bite. This one kind of catches up to you a little after the, after a while. So, being that you're a father, how has that taught you to relate to the younger generation? <laughs> okay, so that's impressively hot. You know, I think it makes a huge difference. So I still have a son that's in college, um, who's a senior in college right now. And I think it's helpful for me in terms of understanding kind of what the demands are for students these days. I mean, we talk on a regular basis probably. It gives me the opportunity to kind of stay in touch with culture, I think more, even slang. You know, they'll use terms sometimes, and I'll go, wait a minute, what does that mean? What are some and words that you hear? Oh, I don't know if I can use them all. <laughs> um, many of them may be, you know, not suitable for things, but um, just different expressions. Um, you know, how, you know, I hadn't heard someone refer to their girlfriend as, you know, or boyfriend as bae, <laughs> you know, things like that. So, you know, just boo, yeah. when, that, yeah, when yeah. that was popular, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, that's my boo, and I go, what does that mean? Oh, that's my girlfriend or boyfriend. So, you know, that kind of thing, I think mm. it keeps me more up to date kind of with how people are, are talking or how communicating. How do you think social media has affected that? A lot. 
Um, social media has actually helped us stay in touch better. I think we text each other. But part of that is because my oldest son is in London. Traveling, and, yeah. And what's that, he lives in London now. So WhatsApp allows us to communicate with him easily. Wow, yeah, I know, I'm really crying about this. So. <laughs> But anyway, it's, it's a touchy um, subject. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm getting emotional. Not, but um, it, I didn't know this was going to be so challenging to carry on the conversation. Oh, it does. That, that's suffering. the um, that's the whole point that, of the that's show. That's the comedic yeah, aspect it, it, of it. I guess. The whole point of the show. Um, so, I'm going to give you a quote here. Yeah. It says, "Be who you are and say what you feel, because the ones who mind don't matter, and the ones who matter don't mind." Do you know who said that quote? Oh, no, I have no idea. That's a Dr. Seuss quote. Oh, okay. And wow. Dr. Seuss happens to be this theme of this year's 30th anniversary Roth Regatta. Yes. In asking that, if you were to build a boat for Roth Regatta, what Dr. Seuss book would it be modeled after, given that it's the 30th anniversary? So, you know, my, my kids grew up on Dr. Seuss, and I probably have read um, those books um, hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. um, I think probably their favorite was Hop on Pop. I think at one point in time I had that completely memorized. I probably could have <laughs> gone through the whole thing without looking at the book. Before bed every um, night. Before yeah. bed every yeah. night, because um, they really liked it. So those stories I think uh, are great, and I'm looking forward to seeing the regatta. It's always an amazing event, but I think it'll be really fun um, with the Dr. Seuss theme. So we're gonna get to the last sauce here. Yeah, I, it's, I'm trying to hard to hard to imagine what hotter is like. Yeah, um, yeah. It, at this point, it's just all did. numb. It is numb. Yeah, yeah my lips are completely. Numb. So this one's called Mad Dog 357, and um, what does it say on the top? This sauce will blow you away. Okay, 350,000 Scoville. What was what was? Uh, <laughs> did it give a Scoville level for the bomb? Or, oh, so can I understand like what the scale we're going up here okay. is? 135,600 Scoville units. Okay, so we're only uh -huh. going up like, you know, two and a half times. Yeah. Um, which is a lot, it seems to Just be a few, just, just a few, few. that's okay. all. Okay. So, right. we're gonna start out right here. Yeah. Clink wings. Cheers. Okay. All right, this side. How's that one? I can tell it's about to kick in. Yeah, it's like it's warming up. Kick in. It's warming yeah, it's up in there. Yeah. Warming its yeah. engine. Yeah. Um, so it's kind before, of the back of my throat. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very strange. Tell us about this legacy campaign um, that you're starting on campus. One of the things I think is 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 wonderful that we do as a tradition is the senior class gift. So Ellen and I decided to match the senior class gift this year. So however many dollars the senior class raises for their gift to help Stony Brook, uh, Ellen and I will match it. Okay. And the money we uh, donate will be used for something that the senior class wants to support something that's for the senior class. My guess is it'll be something about student scholarships, for example. Okay. But that's what we want to do. And so, you know, I have mixed emotions about this. You know, I'm, I, I want people to give. On the other hand, the more they give, the more it's going to cost me. So, um, but you know, Stony Brook's an amazing cause, obviously. I don't think anybody could believe in it more than I do. Right. And so I welcome the opportunity to really match the senior class and get people thinking about, you know, how much they've enjoyed Stony Brook, what a difference it's made in their lives, and start that process of thinking about giving back and pay it forward and helping others get the opportunity to attend Stony Brook. So I actually have a surprise for you. Oh yeah, um, not another sauce. No, no. not another sauce, okay. but I have some change here. And I've got a twenty dollar oh, bill. Oh wow! And um, I'm not a part of the senior class, but I yeah. think it's a great cause. And oh. um, this is going to be my um, my donation towards okay. um, your wow. cause for the wow. legacy. Here's Thank your change. You. Thank you. Um, so well, I really gonna, think it's a. We're, we're no, gonna have course. to. So you're gonna have to send me your email to tell you did this, so we can give you a receipt, and okay. so you can take a tax deduction. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. So who knows? There's yeah. the donation. I think it's a great Thank cause you. and um, a really I smart really thing to do. That. Of course, of course. If you could challenge one other person from the university to take on the Hot Takes Gauntlet here with us, who would it be? Do you know Jun Liu, who's our Vice President for International Affairs? I think he's, I've seen him eat some very hot foods. He also has an amazing singing voice, by the way. If you could get him maybe to, to sing while eating hot sauce? Oh, that's, to sing that'd while be a great show. Sauce, I okay. think. And he's, he's a good sport. 
So I would say Dr. June Liu, um, Vice President for Global Affairs at Stony Brook, I would challenge him to take this challenge. And I'd like to see what he does with 357 Mad Dog, which is still burning <laughs> at this point in Definitely. time. It hasn't, hasn't gone away. So um, it's impressive, although the bomb gives it a run for its money. So this is President Stanley, everybody, of Stony Brook University, taking on the hot takes gauntlet like a champ. Thank you for watching. Your host, A.T. Bianco here. And uh, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. So thank you for watching and uh, have a good day, Seawolves. Wow, all that right. was fun. Yeah. Thank, thank you for doing you. this. Of course, yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>